Welcome to Floral Creations. My name is Dawn and I would like to introduce you to the world of floral art. very interesting course for you. But I'm going to start off with a vertical line. And a vertical line uh, is, a, is a classical line. And why we start with the classics is it helps you to um, measure and give us a basis on which to form your floral art. This is a classical urn in a classical form of um, the vertical. What we start with and I just want to point it out while I have it in front of me, is we start with a very pointed leaf, and we have a pointed flower, and it really goes down as a graded till you get a focal point in the middle. It's a very clean-cut line. It doesn't have any fuss about it. And it's very exciting because you have exact placements. Number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five, and six tucked in. It's almost like doing a dance. And then you have a little skirt of flowers around, around the base to hide your mechanics. This container that I have in, in front of me is not a classical urn. It's not a classical container. It's a more modern adaption of a vertical classical line. A way of covering them is to take a leaf, and this is a dietes leaf that I've covered, but you could do it very easily with a strip of flax, which is forming in tenix, or you could do it with a strip of, of aspidistra. And you just cover it so that you don't see it, because it just takes off from the design if you have to, um, if you have to be looking at the mechanics afterwards. So remember, always cover your mechanics. And what I'm using is a bit of the sticky stuff again, and I'm covering it, and I'm sticking it onto the leaf, and I'm pressing it down so it will not move. And then you put it back off center. It's already got its sticky stuff on. And what I've done with the sticky stuff is I've rolled it into a snake and I've put it all the way around the edge of the back of the Pekinzan. And that's amazing because it adds as a suction and it holds onto the, the container and will not move. How do I measure? I measure it one and a half the width of the container plus the height. And then some, I would rather go too tall than too short at this stage because it just gives it an elegant feel. And then the second one is a third shorter than the first leaf in. And again, it just fits into the, into the pin very nicely. And then that's one, two, just, just slightly behind. Remember, it is a vertical, so it's got to be straight up, although I'm giving a bit of a, a dance here. They must go up in a straight line. One, two, three, three just off center, and four. And I've put them just on the edge. Remember, this is a, tra a traditional arrangement, so all the plant material radiates from the center. And then just number six, I'm just putting in at the bottom, and those are my line. That is the line in which I will work. Now I'm using these very beautiful arums which are um, wonderful, they're green. And what I'm looking for is a point to start my line. And then I would go down the line with the different uh, flowers that are partly open. And here I'm just going right into, right into keep it a, 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 a vertical, so it goes straight up and down, straight up, straight up. Keep those leaves right behind it that they don't move off and I'm going to grade these down down into finding the largest so one two three and of course this is good to know about a traditional in that 
Later on, if you hear the word and somebody says, oh, that's a traditional line, it means that you've graded them. So you've come down and you've gone one, two, three, four, and the largest one that you can find, five, because that is the focal point that comes right in to the base and takes your eye back in. So you've got your line, your eye going from one, two, three, four, and into the middle. And so there you have it, your actual vertical with these pieces all straight up together. And then at the end, I've taken a few um, arum leaves, just small little ones, to give it its little skirt. And that, you, although we're giving it a skirt, we don't want it just to be like a tutu. We want them sort of graded because that gives you a depth. So you want some, although I say we're grading them and making them like a skirt, we actually are trying to create depth, which is very important because it gives you a third dimension all the time, and we'll come into that later. But just to hide the mechanics a little bit more, and just to give it a feeling of, um, of covering, and also those little leaves around the side. Now... Let's just, we finished with that. And that's our vertical um, line where they're all straight up. And remember that your, your points are one, two, three, four, five, and six at the bottom. And there you have your vertical. Now, it's a geometrical shape, no fuss. This line can have no fuss, although it's traditional. Just to hide it, and, and I mean, and this is not traditional, this now makes it more modern. Just a few little stones, this is for your home, a few little stones, just to make it more exciting at the bottom. And there we have our vertical.